Hello, Representative Marionette Miller Meeks with our weekly wrap in Washington. I just came back from an Energy and Commerce Committee where one of my bills passed through the Health Subcommittee. This is a bill on durable medical equipment such as oxygen, wheelchairs, beds, and very important that people in rural areas have access to this type of equipment. The most important thing we did this week, however, was to pass a continuing stopgap funding resolution that keeps the government open. So that uh, bill passed yesterday, and we're glad that we can continue to do the work on passing single appropriation bills. We also had an amendment passed last night uh, that it was an amendment that uh, uh, looks at defunding an office of uh, gun uh, research uh, and prevention. This is already done uh, in uh, other agencies such as ATF and the FBI. Um, it is also, as far as prevention, uh, suicide prevention and violence is also done in HHS and the Veterans Committee. So it's duplicative, duplicative and we need to get the CDC back to focusing on infectious diseases. As we know, they didn't have a good, great response during the pandemic. So we need to, them to focus on infectious diseases and preparing for the next pandemic. And then uh, lastly, we had uh, a Veterans uh, uh, Health Subcommittee hearing on emerging breakthrough therapy. This is therapy that uh, is very promising for helping veterans to prevent and treat PTSD, suicide prevention, and major depression using emergent therapies that the, um, uh, the FDA is going to pass probably within the next uh, six months or so, and that's on MDMA-assisted therapy. So that's our week in Washington, D.C. Uh, I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving, and I want to just appreciate all your support. I want to appreciate everybody that has uh, participated in our telephone town hall last night. And then uh, keep those uh, phone calls and letters coming because we're here to serve you. Happy Thanksgiving.